Usually when we hear about cross-site scripting attacks, we think about an input that has been submitted by the attacker somehow via chatting box uh, or an input to a form. And that input goes into the page which the developer, the front-end developer, is responsible for. And that input is just blindly being slammed into the DOM, uh, which causes, if that input is malicious, which is with, the, with the scripts and stuff like that, which causes the browser to evaluate that input and essentially execute scripts within the context of the page. Dangerous stuff. You can have access local storage, uh, you can access non-HTTP based cookies, stuff like that, dangerous stuff. We know XSS, right? Cross-site scripting. Usually the browser and the, both the browser prevents uh, these kind of attacks by sanitizing inputs. Uh, most browsers have these built-in security features that sanitize this input. Developers do some, some, some of this work as well to sanitize. There's a lot of frameworks that take care of most of these sanitization. However, there are two guys. Those two has discovered an XSS attack that is so dangerous. It doesn't really affect just that page you're currently in. It affects pretty much the entire browser. So any open tab and it's nasty. Let's get into it. So this comes from Mr. Rajput Hacker and the Proxy Boy. And the attack was found on Microsoft Edge, the Chromium-based uh, browser. It is, doesn't seem to be a Chrome-specific. It seems to be a Microsoft Edge-specific bug. With regard to the way auto-translation happened, or just translation in general, to a page that happens to be uh, foreign, right? In, in contact so the bug here was when you submit a malicious image and i'm going to show it in the screen right now this image is just normal image that points to a bad url right but there is an on error event that calls a function and that function is the script that is nasty effectively if you submit that image tag as a chat app or, or put it on your Facebook profile, literally anywhere you want, right? Put it on Twitter for that matter. Twitter and all these apps will basically sanitize the sample. They won't let you just randomly. This, this was the 2009 days where most websites don't know how to sanitize this. We solved this problem a long time ago. We have built security mechanism in the browsers to sanitize these things. So most browsers, most websites know how to clean most XSS uh, nasty scripts, right? No matter how fancy you go with your hex. You, you, would, you would submit that and, and Facebook will just allow you to submit this funky image tag. It will treat it just as your name. If you put it as your profile picture or as your title, it will just let you. Let you do that. That's fine, right? But the browsers will, all the browsers will know that to, this is actually not an image. This is an actual text. Here's what those guys found. They found that if you tra if you forced your page to be a foreign language, let's say French or Russian, and then you sent it to someone with, let's say, let's say you sent it to someone which has a different locale that needs to translate this page, the browser will pop this, this uh, pop-up that says, hey, do you want to translate this? And here's where the bug relies. If that content of the page happened to have that image tag, which obviously is not rendered or anything like that, the tr translation process will re-render the page, translate it to whatever language you want, your preference, and actually render try try to render that image tag which is supposed to be just a, a, a bunch of strength unfortunately that is the loophole that translation logic bypasses most of the security features in the browsers and as a result the image will try to load it will fail it will call the on error event which will call your function so this is so dangerous because you can just send a friend request as as uh, as these guys show right uh, the proxy boy and the mr raju rajput 
they they show a print video i should actually let's let's roll the video here so here's launching an instagram page and as you see as you can see here he scroll he, he even proved this uh they even they even proved this on on instagram on youtube pretty much anywhere where any website doesn't matter because it's a pure browser bug if you think about it here so here is he have a comment that is basically i don't know which language is this but but if you, I don't know if you notice, part of this is actually the that Im, the nasty image tag, right? Which which has like essentially a bad, uh, bad, uh, bad source, which will have an on error alert. This obviously doesn't execute by default when you go to the image, but the moment you translate, look at that. He translate that, and immediately that alert shows up with the straight of the alert of one effectively showing that actually that on error event has been called nasty stuff nasty stuff indeed so microsoft have released effects uh, on june 24th on microsoft edge stable channel on this version again it's not clear that if this is a chrome based uh, bug or actually the portion on the Microsoft Edge side, which does the translation. So they fix basically CVE 2021, 34, 34506, and 34475. This one is the one that those guys discovered. Uh, security feature bypass vulnerability. And there's another one as well, where, which has an elevation of privilege vulnerability. Apparently, there was another one that has been found. And those guys were rewarded a, a whopping twenty thousand dollar. I think. I, I think. To be honest, I think it's slow for Microsoft. They they should have paid them way more because that script, if it executes, you don't want to just have access to Facebook because that's a plugin, right? It, it's it's a translation. The translation have access to the entire browser, so it I can technically access every tab. Right, not just the page that you just translated. Didn't test it, but it looks that way, right? From what we're looking at. So they 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 written this uh, this article detailing all the, their attacks here, their videos as well. So shout out for Mr. Rajput Hacker and the Proxy Boy. There you go. And the blog post was written by Cyber Explorer. Good work, you guys. So we've been seeing amazing finds. Uh, on on this bounty um, collections, really bounty uh, hacks and and finding all these sorts of bugs. The other day, someone found uh, a a bug in Instagram that allows you to access private media in Instagram. Nasty stuff. They were awarded him thirty thousand. I think this should have. They should they should have le receive at least sixty. To be honest, right? This is nasty one, right? I don't know, but again good stuff kudos to those guys uh keep up with the good work all right guys uh, that is it for me today i'm gonna see you on the next one you guys tell awesome. goodbye